Bro Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of dis Oh boy, it looks like it is time for some more Metal Gear. Solid. But a big old thank you to my Patreon patrons and my channel mems and my other donors. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Metal Gear Solid for the Sony PlayStation Tendo. And we are about to continue from where we last left off. And in our last stream, we made it to Disc 2. So, let's get started with some more Metal Gear started. Hello, Titan of Games. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Insert Disc 2. I forgot to reinsert Disc 2 because I did like a whole glitch video about something that you can do toward the end of Disc 1. You know what? Just for you. Let's reset the game. And... Let's try to do this glitch. Let's try to show off this glitch that I... I made a short video of the Boba skip, uh, which is named after the casual streamer who found basically a, gl a glitch that skips a significant-ish chunk of the game. Um, the streamer named Boba, it was her first time ever playing Metal Gear Solid, I believe, and she accidentally got boosted through a door that you're not supposed to enter. Um, and this glitch is fairly easy to replicate. It might take me a couple tries because I'm no speedrunner. But it essentially skips the portion with the with the Heim D shooting at you while you're rappelling down the side of the building. And it skips those three guards that are at the end of that long walkway. So let me try it. Let's try to do it, Elvis Press Play. And Titan of Games and Ruxo Clown and Camillo B. I always post on weekends. You know what? <clears throat> weekends used to be my my time to post a lot of my shorts, but now, but since I've moved in with Molly M, it's become more uh, family time days. So I actually end up posting less content on Saturday and Sunday. Isn't that weird? Anyway, so here's where we are in order to pull off this glitch. I've, I've gotten past this in the stream, but I just want to show you this part. The terrorists have started preparing to launch uh, a thing. Yeah, it was like a nuclear missile or something. Nobody remembers. Snake escapes from the cell after getting tortured a bunch. However, Meryl, taken as the other hostage cannot be found, Snake infiltrates the communications tower and heads for the walkway on an upper floor to detour around the glaciers that block the way. I don't know why I say it like that. To the underground maintenance base. So, <laughs> you're ignoring me even though I didn't talk. How dare you? Daisy O? I didn't. I gave you the secret signal. Did you miss it? Anyway, so, this is the part of the game where you have to run up a bunch of stairs. And we all know how I feel about stairs. And if we don't know how I feel about stairs, I don't like them. But what you can do here is you can throw a grenade. I somehow missed. But you can throw a grenade into this doorway to skip... A short cutscene that usually appears here, I don't have to grab this rope or this stun grenade because I'm going to... Well, the stun grenades are nice, but I'm going to skip the part where the rope is necessary. And what I'm supposed to do here is I need to lean in so I can see. But on floor 5 and 8, I throw a stun grenade. Is that 5? I don't think 4, actually. I don't think it matters if I throw an extra... Maybe it does. But that gives me enough time to perform this skip. So what you want to do is go all the way to the edge of this door. Have your back up against the door. Go all the way to Snake's right so that he presses up against the very right side of the door frame. Then I'm going to go into first person mode and line up my alert box with that, uh, that diagonal line on the ceiling. Then I'm going to hold a grenade in my hand and I it turns out I messed it up. So I might want to try it again. No, I missed it. My cat wants attention. What's up, Carlos Phillips? I see you. I'm, I'm going to die and try all that over again. This time, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention. But long story short, this door here, Otacon will tell you that you can't get through the door. It won't open, even if I use the card. Huh? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. 
Do you know something? That door sometimes gets frozen shut because it's making so a light outside. drank here. Next time, Kira H. Beforehand. Kira so H. Drank a lot of my whisk. To open from the I gotta inside. say, <laughs> they always use C4 or glad to share with outside. you. From the outside, you can't open it from the inside. Sorry, it's impossible. But don't worry, you'll get through. There are two walkways that connect Tower A and Tower B. The other one's on the roof. You should just use the walkway on the roof. Say so, yep. Okay, so long story short, you cannot get through this door. But there are two ways to boost through it. <laughs> Drank it from a bowl, T-Y-V-M. I didn't realize that, Kira H. The setup that I'm trying is, like, speedrun reliable. The other way to do it is to, like, hold your pistol out. Uh, at a certain angle. And have one of the guards shoot you and you'll damage boost through the door. Okay, so that's B1. And that's floor 1. So I gotta wait till floor 5. There's 2. It's hard to see the numbers, but... I imagine if I had better eyesight and a better TV... Then it would be... Then anything's possible, like Kevin Garnett said. Okay, so back up against the door, go all the way to the right, go into first person mode, and this is like pretty precise here. And then once you line up the bottom left corner of your alert box with the diagonal line on the ceiling. Oh, I didn't get it. You want to hold a grenade in your hand until it explodes. I guess I didn't get it. Let's try it the other way. Anyway, I'm, I made a short video about it. And like, holy cow, it took me a long time to get that, that skip to actually happen. But sometimes if you just get lucky, you can have the guards shoot you through the door. So with the, with the gun, you want to stand like, I feel like it's best to stand most of the way toward the side of the door and then hold your pistol to aim at the guards. And sometimes they just boost you through, but it doesn't seem to be happening here. Let me try one more time. I'm gonna go all the way to the right here. What's up, Cube Dude? Well, that seemed to work. Did you just do the part where you get where you ran up the tower stairs? Yeah, so what I'm doing is the boba skip, which again was found by a casual streamer who had never played this game before. And when it happened to her, she was like, help, help, and then she sang a song about winning the video game. It's a cute video. It's, it's, it was funny. You can find it online if you just look up the boba skip on YouTube. But yeah, that boosts us out to this walkway. And the three guards that are usually here will not be here. Because they're like, oh, he did the boba skip. Let's just let him go. He must be really good at this game. Anyway, I think now, um, what you're supposed to do Let's grab some C4. And blow up the outside of the door to unfreeze it. That's how most people get rid of ice. If you've ever lived in, like, upstate New York, and you've had to shovel snow, you might notice that a lot of people just like to use plastic explosives. Anyway, let's, uh, let's reset the game. And continue streaming from where we left off, instead of doing dumb glitches all day. Did you drink it with a fork as well, just like you do soup? <laughs> this is how I handle stairs in real life. Random Studios, what's going on? When are you going to play a Mario game? Probably when Mario Wonder comes out. Reminds me of a clip where a casual somehow clipped through a wall in Luigi's Mansion, and it became a whole thing in a speedrun scene. No one has been able to replicate it to this day. I think I know what you're talking about. Neat glitch, says Carlos Phillips. Thanks. By the way, today I'm drinking uh, Litchfield Distillery Double Barreled Bourbon Whiskey, aged five years, 90 proof, not sponsored. And like, I'm normally good drinking bottom shelf anything. But this was a gift from a friend 
Uh, and I don't know, uh, that makes it special. And Kira H and I shared some of it recently, so. Flip do flip is what it's known as. Tiny Cat just jumped up onto the desk. I don't know if you saw him. Tiny Cat, I need you on your best behavior. Anyway, let's like stream this game, and it is going to prompt me to insert disc two as soon as I load up my save file here. Probably going to try to get Wonder. So when I meet up with my siblings, we can play it and take the shrooms and the game. Yeah, oh my gosh. Like. <laughs> Any game that is four-player co-op, sign me up. It was strong. Was it? Uh-oh. All right. I'm going to load the actual Metal Gear Solid Disc 2 disc. Also known as a disc. I don't know how well you can see that. Ooh, that's a good angle. Into my PlayStation 3 which is backwards compatible. And Tiny Cat will jump on the backwards of my chair. You see this little goblin here? Press the start, press the start button after inserting disc two. I'm trying to do an Otacon voice. I feel like it's okay. I feel like I do an okay impression. But my snake is stronger, so to speak. What's up, KI15? Wonder looks so good. So many powers and enemies. Yeah, bro, I can't stand drinking. I enjoy being inebriated, but I really can't stand the taste. <laughs> Glad you got a good grog guy. To stop the launch of the new type of nuclear warhead, Snake must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base up north or destroy Metal Gear itself. <laughs> Sorry, let me get the laughs out. Snake fights Liquid's Hind D on the roof of Communications Tower B and defeats it and gets to the snowfield north of Communications Tower B. Snake is super handsome and really good at fighting helicopters, also everything else. However, Sniper Wolf is waiting for him. After beating her again, Senek and Otacon stay with her until her moment of death. Snake successfully, successfully goes through the entrance to the underground maintenance base north of the snowfield and heads for the lower level to get to the... Metal Gear Underground Maintenance Base. God, it is hard to keep that voice up. Whoo, are links allowed in the chat? Cube Dude, depends what it is. What you trying to do? Hi, Hypro1GD. But yeah, also I, I love that there's a typo there. There's, there's also another one in a conversation with Otacon. I can't remember where it happens now, but at one time he says, it's really weird, but in the communication in the, the captions it says it's rally wired and I have a picture of it somewhere but I couldn't figure out how to get it to come up no <laughs> links only Zeldas oh my gosh anyway let's equip a gun no let's equip some grenades and go down to the blast furnace Doesn't know guards heard that this guy behind the door didn't hear that These are genome soldiers who have been genetically enhanced to be better at fighting. I remember this area. They probably just shoot that guy from here. I don't trust myself to make the shot. So I'll try it. I'm gonna duck down behind this wall. And kill that guy. Yeah, this this area is a lot of ducking and sidling. Is that the word? Yo, the the text was off the screen there. Anyway, this is the blast furnace. Let's like call a let's phone a friend here. Campbell. Snake. What's up, Kfave? I see you. A blast furnace. What do they use that for? Blasting. There's no airport on the base, so it's hard to bring in supplies. They must have built a blast furnace so they could make building materials and such. That makes sense. Whew. I'm starting to sweat. It's getting kind of warm. The entrance to the underground base is Yes, it's below. a furnace. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. I had a whole theory as to why it could have happened. Went into the files to check that room's collision and some other things, but nope, everything seems normal. 
By the way, everybody, I was recently featured on YouTube's official YouTube channel. Uh, there's a video that is voiceovered by Cat Icarus about the YouTube retro gaming scene. And the team that put together that video reached out to me and asked if they could use like six seconds of one of my shorts. Um, and it's basically... Hey, I hear you on a duck. Yeah, this thing, that thing will bop you. But basically, YouTube used a small clip of one of my shorts on one of their official YouTube YouTube videos. So that was pretty dope. A lot of dialogue in this game, eh, Colonel? <laughs> they would break the fourth wall like that, though. That thing, I think, will straight up kill you with it. Well, let's actually see. Let's see what happens. I think it, like, knocks you into the lava. Holy cow. That's how you become Darth Vader. Wow, imagine dying in, like, molten metal. And somebody is calling you to stimulate the small bones in your ear. Anyway, uh, that didn't happen. Where's my gun? The one I need. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hide behind this thing. Actually, you know what I haven't done, like, all game? Oh, he didn't hear that? He can't hear it over all the blasting. Oh my god. I hate how easy it is to miss in this game. I think I'm good, actually. Is anyone coming to me? It was just one guy who died. Don't even worry about it. My head hurts suddenly. Yo, Cure H, that happened to me, like, right before we started streaming. We must be twins. We must be Schmerio twins. Have to feed both cats and chickens? Heck yeah. Plus, Cat Icarus is my favorite YouTuber, so my favorite YouTuber acknowledged my homie. Hey, Kayfabe. Appreciate you. Yeah, I, I appreciate you sending me that link, too, because I, like, didn't realize it was going to be done so quick. They didn't notify me when the uh, when the video went live, in other words. Alright, I'm gonna just sit here. I guess I can kneel like this on... On this very narrow ledge. But yeah, I think the word when you're like up against a wall like this and kind of moving alongside it is called sidling. I learned that from Wind Waker. Need to get some sleep. Yo, Cube Dude? Appreciate you. Thanks for showing up. Well. Yeah, that thing's totally necessary in a blast furnace. Are my feet even on the ground? Not that I'm mad. I'm, like, impressed. What was that noise? What was that noise? This guy's not gonna see me. Yeah, so this floor, this material is very noisy. And it does alert the guards like we saw in the, um, like the warhead storage building. Way earlier in the game. Oh, there's a little cubby here. Someone keeps their bullets. Can I go down? Yeah, it looks like there's a ration here. That's nice. That's a nice thing to have. Oh, and there's another little cubby! For some FAMAS bullets, if I need them. I'm gonna use one of these, actually. 
As much as I would love to just, like, use landmines to kill this dude or something. That would be a little too noisy and would alert many people. Is there anyone down here? Oh, but there's C4X2. In other words, C8. Huh? I didn't know there was an elevator. In this one particular room. Okay, that's fun! I didn't know the video was being made in general until one of my friends made a post about it because Caddy narrated it. So I watched it because Caddy narrated, then saw you in it, and sent it to you. Thank you, appreciate you. I commented first, forgot to send it to you. <laughs> well, that guy pretty dead. Oh, he dropped a ration. I forgot enemies can, like, actually drop pickups in this game. Look at all that melted stuff. What is the point of this room? Ooh, it's super hot in here. I got PSG1 bullets. Does this just take me back? Oh. I'm gonna use a chaff grenade here, I think. Well, that doesn't work. I had to find out. I don't want to, like, accidentally fall off the edge here. Or purposely fall off the edge, now that I'm thinking about it. What's up, Oriru B and Ruffles the Salty? You must have forgot. I was stained AF, plus I was playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. What's that word that you censored? I was stand AF? As foretold. Oh, I almost went under the steam there. Like that song from The Little Mermaid. Gun cameras. Dang, I bet that's what Snake says at some point. A gun camera is like, is almost as legendarily anime as a gun blade. Like, you could have a sword with a gun. Or you could have a camera with a gun. Wait a second. This looks familiar. There's a big ass elevator that came up to greet me here. Not quite as cool as a big ass elephant coming up to greet you here. Oh, I didn't know I could walk up here. I'm getting a little bit nervous about how close Snake gets to ledges and stuff. You get a lot of bullets for this section. For no reason. I'm gonna put on my B armor. I'll be. Oh, cool buttons! He has no idea what he's doing. Wait, this might be the part! There he is! Oh, never mind. Familiar. Otacon's gonna call me right here, because he just loves doing stuff like that. I'm getting bopped. I'm getting a little bit bopped here. Let's use two of those. And then light that one guy up. Oh, that was a dumb idea to run into that dude. That guy didn't die? 
You know what? Let's try this. Um... Maybe grenades aren't the best here. Uh, could I use the stinger? Holy cow. This is a good strategy, I feel like. Maybe it's not, and I should use something else. Oh my god, hit him. Combat, a little bit clunky in this game. Sometimes you just gotta go full auto, and I'm out of rations now, which is cool. Damn, I was really hoping Otacon would say it's rally wired. Alas. He ain't said nothing. I knew that was there. I didn't know it could reach me over here, though. These idiot gun cameras always shooting me. Um. I have a small sliver of health. I didn't get hurt by my own chaff grenade, did I? I didn't think that was a thing. Was that a lamb mine? Yeah, there's like a mine there. Wow, why is he interrogating me? I just died. All I did was die. Well, I've got a dumb idea. Maybe it's not a dumb idea. Hell yeah. I shot the camera and I did not shoot the deputy. That's sneaky. They should really clay less. Okay. I take another elevator? Last time I did that, I got shot a bunch. So I haven't learned my lesson. BRB, I gotta pick up my leftover pasta I accidentally forgot at my friend's house. That's important. Bird? Or are those bats doing a very good impression of Bird? Ah, uh, bats are never red, so these have to be birds. Oh no, did I punch one? Love this part, says Ru Snake. Ruffles the Salty. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Where the Chocobo go? I have no idea. Secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. What's up, okay. Astro Mixon? What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Girls yeah, disguised as bats. What's up, Eminem? And Banana 422. What did you say? 
It was really bothering me. And Astro Mixon. Why would she lie about and it? And Nature, Nature spy. Noah and Star Phoenix. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. I never the head of the FBI school. at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? He was. Yeah. Well, back then there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, Robert in the T, what's going on? Fifties, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960 in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief All right, I'll go to the library. Dying, and that ninja, too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Hello, Bert. Don't mind me, just taking an elevator. After all those stairs in the previous episode. I want one of the birds to land so I can make friends with it. And be like, sorry, I punched your friend. Those birds sound like a human voice actor trying to do bird noises. Must be Alan Tudyk! When he evolves, he becomes Alan Three-Dick. Yes, anytime the game wants to give me Nikita missiles, I will gladly accept. Hey, I got an idea. Let's call Mei Ling. Mei Ling, how's Naomi? Hmm? She's fine, I guess. What's up? Is she a spy? I mean, what is she, she listening? Wants, Nick, if you want to talk to Naomi, why don't you call her? Oh, it's nothing. Forget about it. Strange guy. Strange guy? That's why I'm legendary. I know you like that one, Rogue Effect. But also, I love that in this lie, Naomi, like, just gave way more details than were necessary. Oh, my grandfather? Yeah, he worked for the FBI in New York in exact at exactly 4.52 p.m. on January 3rd uh, in, in 19... 58 and he was Japanese uh, and and he had six fingers It's like dude if you're gonna tell a lie keep it simple Like imagine playing poker with Naomi and she's like I'll tell you what cards I don't have The three of fives Humans disguised as birds, disguised as bats, unmasked by Scooby-Doo gang. <laughs> ah. Bird attack! A level 3 bird storm! Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. What about my right, my friends. I have to go to work now. Wait, why do you have to do work? Bye-bye, arg 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 arg. Love you, Kira H. Kill my friends. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but What's the insertion method? Battle. Be a tight fit for my solid snake. The judgment is Does he say something else if I don't punch a bird? Are a true warrior. Forehead my beam. <laughs> that raven's like, you're gonna die. Raven What's up, Eric G? So that's where Enter the Gungeon got the Ravenhead machine gun box. Oh, I've never seen. I played a little bit of Enter the Gungeon. I don't remember that. 
each other. We share many You should do some shorts and funny code of calls from MGS3. Like about the glowing mushrooms, yeah! Jest, but indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy Are they the worst friend. of friends? You live in Alaska, too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. I am good at but eating. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. The ear pulling One part is, is really just symbolic. It's more about enduring the but cold. The but, uh... is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. Or iron in your meat. Ah, you know... I kind of remember this boss fight being... Like, oddly easy. Once you figure out the trick to it. So this guy has a huge field of vision, obviously because he's very tall, so he has a, a high vantage point. And there's a big old room full of a lot of boxes. So there's tons of room to run around. Can I get up there? But like, basically what you want to do is stand far away from this guy. Launch one of these here remote missiles. Where is he? I hit him! Oh, and I can get stingers too. Stingers. I think if you try to shoot the direction that he's looking, he will block. Yeah, he will he will shoot your missile. And sometimes if your missile is close enough to you, it will float. Like, listen to him thumping around. I think he's just this way, right? Boom, got him. Why don't I go ahead and use a ration and equip the B armor? I think he saw that. I don't know if that, like, alerts him toward me, though. I love that I'm just knocking on the door with this very large gun. But hey, while I'm at it, let's call Otacon. Hey, Otacon, can you bring me something right now? I just dumped Claymores all that over a walkway. Oh, that's a good idea, Paul. Their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers, it should be easy to hide, right? There must be iron in his eyes. That's why they call him Metal Eyes Raven. Giant and Shaman. I hate that they pronounce it Shaman instead of Shaman. Who says that? Anyway, that guy's called Deep Throat, so. Hey Master, can you tell me more about the FBI? That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. Wow, Alaska is always bragging snake. about that. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body oh. by equipping them. I guess your rations can freeze in this battle. Which sucks, because I don't have any rations. I guess that doesn't really suck, but I wanted to show it off. Come on down, he says. Wait, I gotta, I gotta detonate that one early. Okay, yeah, I thought he was coming up my way to shoot me. Damn. This guy is terrible at aiming. Can you pull in my ear or something with that? Come on now. He must think this is some kind of magic. Oh, he saw me for a second.
What exploded? It sounded like something exploded to my left. Um, yeah, you know what? Claymores isn't a bad idea. Claymores aren't a bad idea. I'm just gonna plant a couple of these in, like, these near top rows here. Is he breathing super heavy? Is that what I hear? I mean, I guess he's carrying a very large thing. Uh, that was a bad idea. I, I tried to cancel that Nikita early, because I realized he was coming around the corner and was going to shoot me with the blasts. <laughs> knock something off of the top of one of these containers? Is that what I just heard? So there's a box here, so you probably can see me through that. Oh, he got, like, right up next to me somehow. Yeah, that was bad. worked well too. He's like low on HP. If he goes up here, like, I might just straight up win the game. Ah, that was so dumb of me. He had like one hit left and I messed it up. Guy's the size of a Dodge Neon, yet somehow managed to sneak up on you. Ruffles the Salty? My thoughts exactly. Yeah, that was like extra dumb of me right there, and I knew it. I knew it. Oh yeah, and I can also use C4 here. Let's have some fun with this. Joe D, what's going on? I think it would be funny if they programmed Raven to be able to run out of ammo. <laughs> and he's like, time out! Pause. Pause. Right, so this time what I'm gonna do is plant a couple of these. And then hang out towards the top of the... Towards the top of the... you avoid them? Somehow? That's a good view of that box. Oh, right! And I forgot, like, if you get right up against these boxes, you can see around the corners like this. down, he says, like it's the price is right. He didn't run over any one of my claymores. Huh? Okay, I was about to say, I thought I put one right there. my other claim oops, oops, oops. I ran over my own mind oops, I don't want this I wanted the Nikita well maybe I could try to hit him with the stinger at some point well I have to make absolutely sure he's not looking at me did I plant another mine 
up north here. You didn't hear that. Alright, let's use this then. Actually, that would have been a good time to use the stinger. Mine's like sorta of near the middle, didn't I? I don't know how I dodged that, but I did. I'm playing very cautiously right now, and I don't need to be. My Claymore finally got him. a hard time. I guess so am I. He's 1-0 against me, though. I really shouldn't be talking. Oh. I keep making the smartest moves. Can I... Oops. I was about to say, can I bait him into the corner here? Dang, he really didn't hear that. Alright, I'm gonna put one in the corner there. Can I switch off of C4 now? And then trigger it by punching later? now?
Alright, I should really stop messing around with this battle, but I'm having fun. One of those got him. Oh, okay, okay. So they didn't they didn't all detonate at the same time. I'm just gonna wait for him to come over this C4. But he keeps going the wrong way. Or the right way, depending on whose side you are on. He was close. He, he, he must see it. Two of them now. Man, his endurance is crazy. Neither of those got him? Oops, I meant to plant a C4. Okay, it's in the upper right corner, don't forget. Finally. Alejandro Z! I beat the boss. I'm really tired from running so much. Just, the boss said, Just like Running Man in Metal Gear 2. No longer needed in this world. The boss said that to you? What a but jerk. My body will not remain in this place. Death by serious buddy. <laughs> my flesh I've never heard it called that. That way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. I hope I don't bore you, though. Thanks for watching, Snake! everybody. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? I guess I do. Snake, take this security card. It will it's a level three. Door. You don't have that yet, do you? Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do Alaska? battle with him. I You're from here too. From above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. Was Merrill. What is it? Yeah, I remember this guy. My friend Donald. That was not the Darker Chief. It was he had been fired. Octopus, a member of Foxhound. Oh. Master, of, a disguise. master of Disguise. I was just. He copied his subjects down to the blood. Stop copying my blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But That's he insane. wasn't able to deceive the angel of death. 
The angel of death. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Or give me thirty-five dollars. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Here okay, well, if they didn't try to shoot me first. My spirit will be watching you. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. What were you saying? Yo, those birds! Just like disintegrated him. Another heart attack. What the hell is going on? It's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. Did you know what that her name Naomi? backwards is Imon? Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's and not she the one lost we her know. doctorate. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to Metal sabotage spy. this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It altogether? Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in uh, some kind that's of not a good secret or something? Answer to hear? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. She can take my place. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Yeah, isn't the Colonel always saying that we're running out of time? Why didn't Snake just take that Vulcan gun? He stores everything else on him. Should be able to carry that, too. Uh, I didn't leave any claymores around, did I? Let's go pick up some resources. Like some Stingors. But yo, I got a level 7 card. Dang. He peed a lot. Well, rest in peace, Vulcan Raven. Wow. It's a very powerful and durable gun. What was that? What did I just see there? Something blinking out of existence. It must have been Vulcan Raven. Anyway, so like, uh, where do I go? This way? That seems to make sense, because it's a level 7 door. Maverick Ryu, what's going on? Brandon B, what?
Let me equip, like, a regular gun that won't get myself killed. My rations are frozen. Ah, I can see why they're giving me chaff grenades here. Huh. Ah. I love that Snake is, like, the ultimate soldier, and he's, like, this legendary dude who's, like, uh, beating up all the bad guys. But he throws, like, this... Camoras there are here. And this very narrow staircase is annoying. Wait, where do I go? Oh, was there a door over here? Yeah, I just totally missed it. Snake never played baseball as a kid. What did I miss? Yo, Maverick Ryu? Um, I did a dumb glitch, and then after I started streaming for real, for real. I beat Vulcan Raven, who was a giant and shaman. It was a real ear puller. I'm just gonna contact somebody about why there's no music here. Wait, what does Nastasha say about 